What's up guys, Eric740T here with Eric's RC channel and today I just wanted to make this video to show you guys how to really um, get failsafe working with a at least a Spectrum radio um, on the DX7S. Um, this is the NAM, NASA MV2, uh, the, the NASA Assistant software and uh, the first thing you're going to do is when you turn on your remote you're going to want all your switches to be in the off position so you can power it up and it won't give you the alarm warnings. Um, when you power it up with a switch in any other position and you're gonna have to have this one all you gotta do is whatever switch you have it set up on whatever auxiliary um, reverse that channel so it comes up here and it'll be the first one while it's in the off like upright like mine would be this position and it sits right here so change the first one right here to fail safe and then you know unplug your quad and close that out and next thing I'm gonna do I'll show you how to do all of this. Um, camera might be a little shaky here. Put the bind plug. So the next thing we did was we put the bind plug into the receiver on the bind plug port. Got that? Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hook up the battery and it should just start flashing waiting for you to bind it okay see it's flashing um, I'm running two satellites as well so I want to make sure all of them are flashing okay so they're all ready to be bound um, if you're running satellites they have to bind up too this is on the Orange RX uh, DSM X uh, 7 channel no, it's an 8 channel receiver, I'm sorry, <clears throat> with two DSMX satellites. Okay, so everything's waiting. Okay, first thing we're going to do, you're going to take this bond plug and take it back out. This is really a big important step. Um, don't try to bind it with your radio yet. This will let you do the fail safe. Okay, so that's ready to be bound still. Everything's ready to go. Um, you know how the bind process, you just hold this button down, turn it on and release after it says binding. I'm going to show you down here so you can see what's going on. And what's happening is, since your radio is going to be into fail safe, since you reverse the channel there, it uh, is going to program the receiver to, when the radio turns off, it's going to set it into fail safe. The receiver can set the uh, NASA into fail safe mode. So, with the bind plug on, and turn the radio on. There's bonding, release. That locked down. Satellite. And both my satellites are bound as well. Alright. So now what we can do is we can test this out. I'm going to go ahead and unplug the quad. We're just going to test the radio to make sure it, it does have failsafe. So remember, this first one's still on failsafe. I haven't changed it back yet. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in here, and I'm going to change this first position from failsafe back to, um, say, normal mode or attitude mode or whatever I want. Um, okay. Anyways. Let's turn this back on. Turn the radio on first. It's already on. Plug the battery back in. This is how we're going to test to see if the failsafe works. I'm not going to plug it all the way in just a little bit. Okay, so you can see that's a fail safe, and that's because this position is still programmed for safe, fail safe on the uh, assistant software, which I'll change back to whatever I want it to. Okay, so I'm going to go down to this. This would be my GPS position hold. Alright, so it's obviously not bound to a satellite in my room. Turn the radio off, and you'll see and turn the radio off. And it goes into failsafe. And the uh, receiver will start blinking one time, telling you went into failsafe one time. Alright, now let's see what happens when I turn the radio back on. Okay. When I go back into GPS, you have to flip out of GPS and back into GPS. 
Um, so you can see it. The receiver does come back on. Yet you regain control, um, and that one light still blinks, telling you you have activated failsafe one time. So I'm going to show you when you activate it twice. It'll tell you how many times you actually activated this. So first thing we're going to do is we're just going to turn the radio off. And it's in failsafe. Now you see two blinks.